Patricia Bath. Born on November 4th, 1942, in Harlem, New York, to Rupert and Gladys Bath, Patricia's path to greatness was peaked when the mother brought her a chemistry set as a young girl. From early on, Ms. Bath was a hard worker and chose greatness. At the age of 16, she was picked as one of the few students to attend a cancer research workshop sponsored by the National Science Foundation. She impressed the program head so much that he included her findings in a scientific paper presented to the workshop attendees. Due to her efforts, she was awarded the Mademoiselle Magazine's Merit Award in 1960. Bath headed to Hunter College after graduating high school in two years. She earned a bachelor's degree in 1964 and went on to graduate with honors from Howard University School of Medicine in 1968. After an internship at the Harlem Hospital, Bath began a fellowship in ophthalmology at Columbia University. During her time there, she discovered that African Americans were twice as likely to suffer from blindness and eight times more likely to develop glaucoma than other races. Bath's research led to a community ophthalmology system providing increased eye care for those who could not afford treatment. Patricia Bath became the first African American to complete a residency in ophthalmology and later moved to California to work as an assistant professor of surgery at Charles R. Drew Medical School at the University of California, Los Angeles. Upon taking her new position, she became the first female faculty member in the Department of Ophthalmology at UCLA's Jules Stein Eye Institute. In 1976, Bath co-founded the American Institute for the Prevention of Blindness, and by 1883, Bath helped create the ophthalmology residency program at UCLA Drew. Bath chaired the program, of which she also became the first woman in the nation to hold such a position. In 1981, Bath began working on her most well-known invention, the Laser Faco Probe, which was created in 1986. She was able to harness laser technology creating less painful and more precise treatments of cataracts. She received a patent for the device in 1988, becoming the first African-American female doctor to receive a patent for a medical purpose. She also holds patents in Japan, Canada, and Europe for her laser faco program. Bath retired in 1993, becoming an honorary member of the UCLA medical staff and was also named Howard University Pioneer in Academic Medicine. Ms. Bath was a strong advocate for telemedicine which used technology to provide medical services to remote areas. Ms. Bath is a great inspiration and model of excellence. She is a pioneer, a visionary, and a titan within her field. It's Patricia Bath. Stand on your shoulders.